Do you know how to configure an ATM or a new POS terminal? If you don't, keep on watching. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and this video is part of a series of your tutorials. My colleague Michael Gröschel asked me to talk about YAWL case studies. So here's another one that is shipped with YAWL. It's an advanced level case study covering cascading worklet selection, exception handling, process configuration, the cost service and other features of YAWL. Showing this all here would lead to a very long video. We have uploaded the supplementary files to our companion page. See the link below. There is also a PDF document describing all of the contained features. We will just go through one case here, where we install an ATM and later discover that the card reader is broken. If you want to go along, you will need to perform the following steps. Activate the cost service by adding it to the components tab of the control panel. Load the YBKP file. Load the six worklets and load the four rule sets. So let's go to the computer. So everything's prepared here. We have the YAWL editor with a specification, with a parent specification open here. And we have some terminals on the YAWL system, the admin and some users on the right hand side. So let's first um, activate the roles view here and we can see that there is an engineer doing a lot of things in here. Um, there is a network engineer and a senior engineer. And we will just start a case now. So um, we go to the admin console and we choose add terminal here and we launch a case. Case ID 9. So um, look at the admin queues and we can see that we have one task receive request which we can see here and this is um, offered to the first engineer and so the first engineer is in this, in this window and we accept and start this task and um, we fill it in so we take an urgent ATM in St. Augustine and we configure two hoppers here um, both in euro and the first one is 50 and the second one 20 complete that. The next is check form. Um, by the way, if we look at the constraints, we can see that this is actually the same user that has done the receive request task. So review all of the settings and then we say, okay, the form is correct. And now we have three work item C, a configure location, configure model and configure hoppers. Um, if we look at configure hoppers, this is a multiple instance task and we will accept that f first. And if we go to view edit, we can see that we first configure the 50 euro hopper. And next we configure the 20 euro hopper and then it, this is complete. And now we have configure location and configure model. This is from the complex task here, the sub workflow. So we go to configure location and also to configure model. Okay, this is done. And now we look at the admin queue here and see that the next task network access is um, for the first network engineer. So we have to log in with the first network engineer. The user is called network engineer one. Password is YAWL, Y-A-W-L, everything in capital letters. 
And now we configure the network axis. We can see the data here and complete this task as well. So next is load keys. Um, if we go to the work listed work items, now this is the first senior engineer, so we have to log out here. We go to the senior engineer one. and start, load the keys into the ATM, and the next is load ATM. So who is this offered to? Load ATM, let's see. It's offered to four different users, so the senior engineer can do that as well. So we accept and start it here. Terminal model is given, and the next should be the quality check. And the quality check can also be done by the senior engineer. And so we check everything, the hoppers, and let's say um, we found that the card reader is broken now, and this is a major issue. So, major issue, card reader broken. Next we get three tasks offered. One is called log issue information, update SLA time, notify customer. And if we look at the admin view, it's the same. So um, where are we now? Um, we have done the quality check and there is no, you know, uh, the quality check was negative. And now we are in fixed issues. And if we look at fixed issues here and look at the um, the rule set for this, we can see that um, if we have a major issue, then there will be a fixed major issue worklet that is called here. So the fixed major issue worklet, if we open it here, We can see that this consists of log issue information and some other tasks here. And log issue information is suspended here. So what has happened? Um, if we look at log issue information and look at the rules here, we can see that there is a pre-case constraint violation. And if the condition is urgent, which it is at the moment, then we suspend the case, and this is the reason why this is suspended here, and we compensate by handle urgent major issues. So we have to close that and go to the work that handle major issue. And here you, we can see that we have update SLA time and notify customer. And these are the two things that we can do now. So we say new expected completion next Friday and we notify the customer and we say we'll have a delay of one week. So now that we have completed this we close it again and we can go back to fix major issue now we can do log issue information, which we do now. And the next is diagnose issues. So card reader broken. And let's say we have identified the root cause. Go on. And now we do fix locally. And fix locally is now another work item and now you can see um, the case ID is 12 by now and we, we have started with um, case ID 9 so this is the next worklet that is going on and oh there is something wrong now so we have test solution and fix locally Card reader broken, we fix that. Now we test the solution, we are back here. 
And we say the issue is fixed. Yes. Complete. Now we have nothing more to do. And the next that is appearing is complete request. So now we go back to our parent specification. To the right hand side and now we have complete request. We accept and start it. And now um, we enter the configuration parameters just for the record and we're done. I think that this case study is ideal for getting to know the advanced features of YAWL. Let me know in the comments if everything is working for you or if you are having any trouble. See you next time.